Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and today we're going to answer the question that's the title of the video, right? How long does journaling Bible last? I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one with this fear that you do all these journaling Bibles and then they don't even last. A lot of you are saving the Bibles or preparing the Bibles for your children, but have you ever thought about what could possibly happen if it gets too warm to give to them or if they reject it and say, hey, I don't want that. That's not my cup of tea. Like, have you ever thought about those questions? Um, I know I have, um, especially because there's primarily boys over here. So it's like, ugh. So then the question arises, like, okay, when you fill up your Bible, what in the world do you do with them? Like, how does that work? But I want to show you guys my first two that I ever got. This is my first one, and this is my second one. Um, and I'm just going to show you for anyone who's wondering about buying Bibles and the longevity of them. This one is um, the NIV Holy Bible Journal Edition, and it's actually for girls. Pretty purple, so I got it. Um, and I actually had owned almost all of these. Um, <clears throat> I had the tan and blue one or the teal one. And I gave that to my sister. Um, and I had got another one like that, but I ended up giving that one away on a giveaway on here on this channel. Uh, because the thing was, I said, okay, if I get the same Bible, but not the same Bible, then I'll be happy. But I'm so technical. Like, I'd probably be ha more happy if I had got the same as that one. Or maybe that was me saying that, you know what? My work here is done. Like, leave this, you know, move on. And... I did move on, but this Bible is definitely nice and full. So, um, just a mini flip through while I'm talking about it. But um, this is where I was heavily, uh, you know, stickers and everything, journaling in here um, almost on a regular basis and journaling as I read. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you already know that I think by color, not necessarily by concept, because, you know, people do like arts and stuff and redo verses that stood out to them on the side. I did not do that. That is not how our Bible journal. I actually take notes and I incorporate stickers that match based on what color I was using. So pink, pink, blue, you know, and I changed by the day and that will kind of give you an idea of how much I was actually journaling because this color would change. Like if I was reading all this in that particular day, then this was yellow and brown. Um, for this particular day, then it was green and then a little bit of pink, like, you know, whatever I read for that day, you can tell by the amount based on the color change and the stickers. So really love this concept. I would love to incorporate this in another Bible. Um, I think for me, I got kind of like Speedy Gonzalez with the reading and studying. I'm like, okay, I want to do more. I want to finish faster so that I can get more of the Bible read. But I've since had a change of heart since then because it's not a race. You know, it's, it's not a race. Like you, you're spending this quality time with God. You're ready to take time. This is one of my first attempts of watercolors. <laughs> Don't laugh. But anyway, um, I did quite a few things in here um some things were random probably based on devotion and then and as you can see i still got plenty of room in here like but i put it down wasn't a fan of the old testament was i certainly not back then definitely wasn't uh oh oh i got a rip is it just a tad bit but let me just go and work it out right now while I'm in here it seems like every time I touch this bible there's a rip every time but let me fix it right now while I'm on the page because usually I wait and I lose my spot and that's not good There we go. But um, there's another one, which is why I do not 
particularly touch this uh, Bible often because of that. Because these are card stock tabs and they are pretty heavy. And this is why I got to the point, this was another reason why I got down to the point where I said, you know what? Less is more because the more you, you know, you tab in your Bibles, the more you have to deal with them, the more you have to um, be careful with them. And I use different Bibles often, which is why I do this challenge. And when you do use multiple Bibles with tabs and stuff, I would say that is the downsides of tabbing because y'all know I love tabbing. But um, the downsides would, uh, side would be you keep moving and keep, you know, interchanging Bibles. It does wear and tear on the page and stuff. And you have to be careful, especially if you're like moving them on and off a shelf like I do. And it's not good. It's just not good. Um, in Psalms, I went ballistic. This is why I said I got free space and opportunity because most of Psalm is more so what I just want to meditate on and not necessarily write any notations on. So I had plenty of room for beautifying, as you guys can see. So this will forever be a cherished Bible. It sits on my shelf. I do not touch. I do not bother with it. Um, so actually, these pages that are, uh, you know, the tabs are torn and stuff, it's probably been like that for a while because I, I don't move and touch this Bible that much. Um, I've been relocating a lot. That might be what happened too. But this is why I made a video, and I don't know if I post it yet or not, or I need to post it, um, about, you know, correcting. Matter of fact, I did. I, do a vid I did a video about fixing torn tabs. Um, a way to kind of eliminate, avoid that altogether would be just to go ahead and tape the page. That would be my recommendation. Because I'm thinking about doing that in my She Reads Truth Bible because that is really thin pages. And I think one, one of them have already ripped. And you have the choice of using matted tape, you know, the non shiny or the shiny tape. Um, I like the matte look personally uh, because it doesn't bring that much attention to whatever you're covering. This was so fun and pretty. <laughs> oh, and these are Dollar Tree stickers, you guys. It came in a pack with the, the ones that kind of look like the dupe of Happy Planner. But yeah, most of my stickers came from Dollar Tree and stuff. Dollar Tree, Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby. But, um, so this is why I'm, I'm, since then, I've been more strategic about what kind of tabs and stuff I use, um, to avoid this situation. Because when, when I had this Bible, my heart and my mind wasn't on, I can always get another one. Like it was more so about, preserving then like I was not I don't know what happened or what transpired between then and now but it's just like and I think maybe it's because you know what I did not this was my everything like I was in here so this bible I was I was heavenly using like and that's why I'm like I retired it even though I didn't finish or did every book I just didn't want it to get to that point of being ruined or messed up. So I just put it down, I keep it on the shelf. And I don't want to continuously have that fear. And obviously, if you don't know, hardcover, softcover and stuff, they, they're they definitely not the same and they don't last the same. Um, usually the biggest issue with hardcover is the spine. This part right here, it gets wobbly and shaky and it starts ripping and tearing and stuff. Um, this one, I would think would happen like that too, but it has not. And <clears throat> which prompted me to this video, cause I really want to touch on, um, the longevity of journaling Bibles. I had this Bible since 2017. I had the other one since like 2013 or something like that. Um, okay, let me see if they have a publishing date that I kind of give me an idea. Cause obviously I know I didn't get it when it first released. Um, 2015. 2015. I had the other one since 2015. Um, and I had an on and off relationship with, with it uh, when I got this one. But I ended up going back to that one. And then when I went back to that one, I was in it hard. Um, so literally been journaling since 2015. This one I got in 2017. And like I said, I got it and I was excited. And I was more so focusing on coloring. I tried to do that. 
I did some of this. I actually came back and did more later. Um, but mainly I was in Psalms. I did um, the Old Testament. I mean, the New Testament. Like anything that you see I did with gel pen, that was the first things I did because I used gel pen first. But then I was looking at like how it looked on the other side. I'm like, I don't want to keep doing that. But it took me a while to kind of realize it, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. And then I went to color pencils and I said, ah, this is better. So then I stuck with the color pencils. But I would say, like I said, for the most part, my cover and everything is in pretty good condition. Um, but always a concern of glue spine because it can easily come apart. So I was more careful with this, but I was definitely more, hey, let's go do journal by with it. Like carrying this outside the house, in the house, bedroom, living room. Like this was my baby. Like I was everywhere with this. <laughs> um, the other Bible, I more so try to stay to a desk. But this one, because it's so flimsy, it came everywhere with me. So I definitely, definitely recommend Inspired Bibles in general. Um, I would even hope to think that maybe since then, um, maybe they have perfected their craft of Bibles and hopefully my other ones will last even longer, especially my inspired prayer. Like, boy, I, I definitely, I hope that one lasts. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Um, and of course, I, I got the inspired praise. That's hardcover. And then I got the soft cover of the inspired prayer and then I got the leather soft cover or imitation leather definitely hope they last and I'm for some reason in that particular bible I'm really flimsy with that one too like my inspired prayer the one that I actually write my prayers in like it can go outside the house bedroom living room like for some reason um the relationship was just different um and don't get me wrong I love this bible like, as you can see I spent a lot of time in this bible but when it came to the inspired bible it was just like something else it was just something else but anyway i just want to talk about that and chit chat about maybe you guys can comment and kind of help people too how long have you had your journal bibles like how long do you plan on having them i know a lot of people look at bibles like a notebook not in a bad way but just like hey when it gets filled i'll just go on to the next one but my question to you is what do you do after like are you just gonna hold all of them forever especially if your kids are interested or do you plan on uh, giving them away, which um, a lot of people have said that. And do you have an idea of who you're going to send it to? Because mind you, as big and as growing as this community is in the Bible journaling community, there's a whole lot of people who aren't for it or even against it. So that would be my question to you guys. Please comment below when you got your journaling Bible, how long you had it, um, and what are your plans for it? Let me know. Maybe I can get an idea or two from you guys. Love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.